Hi everyone, welcome back to my vlog. Uh, today I wanted to do things a little different because I've been a bit quiet lately on social media and I honestly, I really needed some time to myself. Um, my anxiety has been really high uh, the past few weeks so I decided to just take a little time off and focus on myself. So that's why with this vlog I wanted to go in a whole different direction and really make this all about my anxiety and how I deal with it. Um, for me, when I really realized that I had anxiety, this was about a year ago when I went to the psychologist and this was really, last year was really a year that was really hard for me because I lost my job and I was about nine months jobless. I couldn't find a job. I was depressed, so it was really one of the lowest moments I've had in my life. But it was also one of the most strengthening moments I had. And because I went through this, it made me such a different person. And by going towards it heads on and um, accepting that I was depressed and I had anxiety, I was able to make changes. So I don't really see myself as um, having anxiety as a weakness. I see it more as a strength and that is something that I believe many others should also see. And that's why with this vlog, I want to show you how I deal with my anxiety. No makeup, no filter, no anything. It's just gonna be the real me. Good morning! So today I'm walking in the park together with Tarkov. And um, this is actually something that I... So every Sunday morning I start today with a little bit of exercise or walking with Tarkov and um, yeah it's actually like it's really relaxing just because I try not to go to put like music on or anything just be one with the nature and listen to the birds uh, just enjoying Tarkov running around and watching him enjoy uh, yeah, the the park and and sniffling and and smelling everything. So that's really amazing to see. And um, I really enjoy walking around because it's a sense of freedom. And just by stopping and being in the here and now really adds a sense of mindfulness to it. So Sunday is my self-care day and um, for me self-care is really like taking care of my skin and just being able to relax because with anxiety you're not relaxed at all. So Sunday is usually my day where I do my hair, I do my nails, I do my face. So I'm just going to give you a small little a uh, preview of what I do with my skincare routine. <laughs> Anxiety is something that really sits in your mind because it's you're constantly thinking about the past or the future and everything that's happening. So I received this um, this paper, well, this sort of format from my psychologist, and it's basically a sort of challenge 
to challenge your mind. And um, I just I just filled it in, and it was it was a bit hard and also very confronting because first you have to describe the situation, then describe how you felt, and also add in a number from zero to hundred, like what kind of number you felt at this moment. So then um, you also have to describe the automatic feeling that you had during this situation so this this was really hard to do because you know due to your mind is constantly going over and over again it's really hard to actually pinpoint and say okay like this is the automatic thing you're thinking about so afterwards i also had to ask myself a few questions in regards to what my mind was thinking automatically and so in total there are about like eight questions which you have to ask yourself and um, to basically challenge your thought to no longer think the same way because having anxiety you're constantly thinking over and over again so it's a real challenge to wire your mind in a different way that you're not constantly thinking about the same things over and over again. So one of the things that really stood out to me was um, this question right here, which is how would another person think about your situation? And then, you know, looking at the situation that I wrote down, I was just like, okay, um, don't put too much on yourself. And just by doing that made me also realize like okay you are putting a bit too much pressure on yourself or you know it's it's not always the end of the world which usually like your mind always thinks that and another question is um what would you say to a friend that is in the same situation and i really think that that is a very good way to think about it because when you're talking to a friend you're you always have the best advice so you always want the best for that person except towards yourself you're also you're you're very um very strict to yourself and you just have to remind yourself that you should also be your own friend so if you are feeling anxious or feeling down just think what would you say to your friend in that very same situation good morning so recently i've been having a pretty few stressful days and um i wasn't really feeling myself as well so this morning i decided to wake up and do 10 minutes of yoga so what i usually do is i always look on youtube at different workouts or just yoga stretching um, just to release tension and start my day good morning taco are you also doing yoga with us today Making this vlog was something that was a little bit hard for me and a little bit confronting because when you're in a beauty pageant everybody expects you to be perfect and to have everything settled and to always be the empowered woman who knows what she wants and to be honest I mean we all have our days in which we don't always feel like that powerful woman and that's why with this vlog I also want to show the world that it doesn't matter who you are or um, how you look like we all have our vulnerable days and this is really a taboo that I want to break 
that it's okay to not be okay. And with this in mind, I want to tell you about the platform I'm going to launch, which is called Strength and Serenity. So my platform, Strength and Serenity, is all about mental health, mindfulness, and self-love. I want to empower women to break free from their insecurities and know that they can achieve anything they want in life. I named it Strength and Serenity because I don't see my mental health as a weakness. I see my mental health as a strength. Being vulnerable, being open about it is something that takes courage. And it is something that I want more girls to know that it's okay to be open about it. It's okay to talk about depression, anxiety, or anything else that is in line with mental health. And the name Serenity, um, it really means something to me because when you have anxiety, you're in constant chaos and constantly in, your mind is constantly in survival mode. And you're constantly looking for that sense of serenity, that sense of calm. So I really liked both the name of strength and serenity because it's two things which really corresponds with mental health. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. And I also want you to know that it's okay to not be okay. And I know it's pretty hard right now, especially with the developments of COVID-19, that things are getting worse. But one day, they will get better. For now, thank you for tuning in. Stay safe and stay strong. And until next time.